chieftain from the Nora. Strange omens. What do you make of it, Shaman? My thoughts on this are... clouded. I must... take in the smoke of burnt wires to clear them. We are of the White Teeth, come down from the jawbone of Benur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No, it is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights, sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone. Their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth mark their attempt. How generous. So who are the white teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. We are well served, eh, shaman? Every day lightning cracks in the smoke of battle. Every night a new name to honor in song. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? In time. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. <sighs> Unbelievable. If there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. Survival. Outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Warak. It's not so. Damn. Maybe metal too. But my need is greater. Mr. Banuk don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do.
An outlander. Chieftain of Awerak. It's stranger in the cut than I thought. You're telling me. You fight well. I am a Kree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. So let's get her back to the Werak. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. I'd have to ditch something. That's where we're going. Frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things. But it won't have her. Not if we can help it. More up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. Be easy, Aloy. I can feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake.
Miss Outlander. You border here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you, the ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive. Which would you rather keep, my Lin? Your leg or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Please, let her. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? Work that I fell. And that she endured. Will you? My Len has returned. I expect you have something to say about this. I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. If this was a test of her endurance, I'd say she's endured more than many could bear. She put your Werak above all else. That was what kept her going, through the pain, and through the loss of a friend. She survived for you. Don't turn her away. She is a fine teller. There is a place for my land with the white teeth. I do not dispute it. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... gone. She sounded brave. Her name... will always be in my song.